democracy does not mean you have the right to dismantle a nation. Their agenda is not even for the well-being of the nation. No more tukde. Anybody who talks about that should not exist in this country or they must… they can be in state hospitality. Namaskaram Sadhguruji. Namaskaram. So Sadhguruji, you talk about the enemy within. We are talking about in the last uh, few days there have been action uh, on the enemy within. And these are the supporters, the funding channels, uh, the people in our side of the border who See, are giving support. We need to understand it's not just one or two people, there's a whole infrastructure. This infrastructure has to be dismantled completely. So that if people from outside want to do something, they have to come as a military force, not go on doing these things. This can only happen because there is a local infrastructure, a certain level of support in the social media, in the media, there is support. This must be dismantled. See, nation is not… I'm not uh, speaking with some kind of fervor. I'm just talking in terms of a solution. Nation is not something that descended from somewhere, it's an idea that all of us agreed that this is our nation. If we don't take care of it, if we don't invest ourselves into it, this idea will not become a wonderful idea, this will become a horrendous idea. Right now, we have this problem, a whole lot of people have not invested themselves in that idea. They are either vacillating… The political class? They are either vacillating or they are wondering which way is going to go, even for them to wonder, the reason may be the situation on the ground, because I know from the other side, at many points, Pakistan believes it's very close that they're going to get pa Kashmir. They have never understood. It doesn't matter what they do, Indian Army is never going to hand over pa uh, Kashmir to them. That's never going to happen. But that side, there is an illusion. Many times in the last seventy years, at least four to five times, they've really believed it's come so close, they're going to get it now. Because they start talking locally, just so close, another two months we'll have Kashmir, this kind of talk goes on there. So that illusion we have to break. And how does one do that? If you take away the local infrastructure completely, so, there are… there are people who are clearly other side of the wall, we need to deal with them one way. There's a whole lot of people who sit on the wall not knowing which way to fall, we must deal… deal with them compassionately and those who are on this side, we must deal with them in terms of protecting them, so that they don't get harmed. I don't know, Sadhguruji, whether you read a report that came out in a magazine recently that looked at the caste of all the soldiers who had laid down their lives. And it said it was only 12.5 percent of those who laid down their lives who belonged to the upper caste and it was the lower caste, the scheduled castes and tribes, the OBCs, that formed the majority of those who... See, these… Down. these are the lowest level of minds in our country. Unfortunately, they are uh, either through social media or media also is focusing their cameras on them. Please, these are not fit to be human beings. Please don't put your cameras on them. But sir, by not putting the cameras, is the ulcer within salt, sorted? See, if there is an ulcer in your body, you don't have to carry it on your face. But don't you have to deal with it? We have to deal with it. How no. do we deal with it? See, the only reason people make such absurd statements is, for one day they are celebrities. Don't give them that status, first of all. So, in this country, it's become like this. Somebody wants to be in the… on the screen, all they have to do to say is something absurd bizarre stuff if you… They, if you say it, and the cameras are on them, they're just enjoying the limelight. Please don't give them that. But Sadhguruji, you know, if… if these people are told not to do something like this, or if there is action against them, then there will be battle cries on the streets of the country that their freedom of expression, their freedom of speech has been <laughs> taken away. And there is intolerance <coughs> in this country. See. Speech is a valuable privilege that a human being has. It's very, very important that we use our speech as human beings should, 
essentially a human being means this, in what way we are different from other animals is that there is an intelligence within us which can respond beyond our instinctive compulsive reactions. That is, we can be more inclusive. We don't have to live within our territories as every other creature tries to live. There is a way for us to look beyond that. If your human speech is not... does not represent that, actually you have no right to speak. You should not have no right to speak. But should there be action against such people and such people? See, there is... there is a prejury law in the country. There is defamation laws in the country. But if you try to put a defamation thing on somebody, you will end up in the court more than them. So then, how do So I'm saying, first of all, quick justice must happen. It's very important. When justice will take ten years, fifteen years, you're only punishing the already one who has been abused by somebody. This is an everyday thing happening to people all over the country. It's become free for all, anybody can say anything because there's no consequence. In... if it was olden time without all this democratic thing, in a town or a village, if somebody says something that's not true and abusive to you, they would go and slap him. But that's against the law. If you slap him, you will get arrested, not him, all right? So I am not talking about taking law into your hands. But if you go and act physically, that will be taking law into your hands. But now, if whatever he does, he can do and there is no law. There is a law, but it is too slow that it is mocking you all the time. So, these things we need to settle. One of the important things, whether it's for businesses to work in this country or to settle these kind of issues, Tettle, settle those people who are supporting people who are working against the country, either in the form of terror or in the t form of weakening the nation in so many other ways. Within three months, it must come to justice. Well, you don't have enough judges, right? I'm saying it is time we think about this, that responsible citizens in this city, let us say, can't you find a thousand people who will be beyond prejudice and act? as a... some kind of judgment. Five people, ten people, mock, make them into jury and clear all the simple cases. Sadhguruji, the... what are you saying? In uh, this country where people have come out, Omar Khaled and... <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, and, and all of these people who... Kanaiya Kumar, they are icons today because they raised the sh slogans. At least they were part of the group that raised the slogans. Yes. So, I'm saying, why are they still... And when the sedition law is uh, applied to them, there are political mainstream parties that come out to question yes. that... Yes, uh, that is what I'm saying. As per the law, they shouldn't be walking the street, all right? They are not only walking the street, they are hogging the limelight. Please end this, this is the time. Right now, the country is ready for this, country's emotion is ready for this. This is the time to deal with all of them, all of them. Because this is not about retribution, this is about ensuring that the possibility, the threshold of possibility upon which we are sitting, that we could solve the problems of poverty and bring well-being to this nation and the people of this nation, who had such a bad deal for last ten, fifteen generations, they've lived in poverty. Now there is a possibility, we don't want some fool to hijack this, so we must act for solution. This is the time, I'm saying when I said dismantle the infrastructure, I'm meaning just this, all of them, it doesn't matter who they are. Well, many years ago, General Musharraf uh, said, next time there is a war, it'll happen within your borders, not at the border, he said that. Well, he said it with a certain understanding and a certain knowledge about certain things. Now, uh, when people have come up and openly said, we want to break the country, we must decide, all of us, do we want to break the country? We have broken it once and never again we're going to break it, because when we broke it, we killed over a million people. And over fifteen million people were displaced, many of them after seventy years still not settled. And we know what pain. See, the reports carry the dead. If so many people died, you will report that so many people died. Do you have a way of reporting people suffering? Do you have a way of reporting people suffering? Those millions of people 
who were looted, raped and lost their children and wives and husbands and they came in such desperate this way and that way, both sides I'm saying. Do you want to create one more situation like that? I am not talking about geographical… geographic integrity, I am talking about human suffering. We have seen that suffering, unfortunately it's not well recorded, nobody has bothered to write enough about it, nobody has bothered to make enough movies about it, nobody has brought it alive for this generation that this has happened to us, never again we should make the same mistake. So openly in the capital city when somebody says, Tukade, Tukade, what are you going around doing all kinds of nuances of law? Please do what you have to do. Democracy is to make the nation function, not to dismantle the nation. Democracy is not made to dismantle the nation. If anybody has such understanding, let them correct themselves now. Because democracy is about a graceful change of power, essentially. That without bloodbath, you can change power, which never happened in human history. Only after democratic process came, this is happening. So democracy does not mean you have the right to dismantle a nation. We don't want to break the country once again, we have done it once, we have seen the suffering, what it has done, and we don't want such an incident to happen once again ever in our country. So if somebody thinks they want to do it, we must deal with them. What are we waiting for? Their agenda is not even for the well-being of the nation. When such a thing is there, if we don't deal… deal with it, we are not peaceful people, we're just naive and stupid, that's all it is. I don't want to go down as a generation which was stupid, which did not know what to do to make this nation tick. I want to die in such a way that as a generation we did the right things and we took the country to the right place. Let everybody understand this. An enormous amount of human suffering we've unleashed with two tukadas we did. No more tukade. Anybody who talks about that should not exist in this country or they must they can be in state hospitality.